is up you guys and welcome back to another video. I'm sure you can guess what today's video is about, obviously, because there was a picture and the title of the video, obviously, right? So what we're gonna be doing is replacing my F-150's horn because right now it sounds like a little bitch horn. Apparently it's a problem thing for Ford uh, F-150's in particular, but their uh, low tone horns have been going out. So I went to Ford, I got the new part, we're gonna replace it, but listen to this real quick. This is what my horn sounds like. You have got to be kidding me. Did you hear that? It sounds like I'm driving a goddamn Prius. So we're gonna fix that problem today. I really don't know how to do this. I didn't look up how to do this. I'm making this video for you guys so you can change out your horn if you need to, if your low tone has gone out just like mine. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and pop this hood because obviously we're going to need access to it. But the horns, and you may or may not be able to see them through here, but right here, there you go. That's where the horns sit, right there. So we're going to have to find a way to get access to that. I believe it's only one bolt and then a plug. And then we basically take it apart and put the new one in. So uh, let me get rolling with this and I will show you guys exactly how it's done. All right. So we've got the hood open and first things first is this panel right here. It might be one giant one, but we're gonna take out these clips right here. Um, hopefully we don't break any, but we're gonna pop these out so we can get access down behind there to hopefully have an easy access to get to this horn. So I am gonna do that right now. Perfect, so I've loosened all of these and I'm gonna hope that this just peels up after I pull them back. Uh, it might take me a second to get it, but that's what we're gonna do and peel this thing up this way. So what I'm doing is having to remove these clips right here completely so we can peel this back. It looks like we might have to take the whole thing off and then also more stuff as well. So uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Cool, so there you see we have got this part pulled back now. Now we're gonna have to figure out how to move this out of the way so we can get access to the actual horn. Okay, so I moved the truck inside because it is freaking hot outside and I had to phone a friend because obviously it's not as simple as accessing it from here. So what we have to do is we have to take this whole thing off right here. So it's just a bunch of clips. After that, and I'm gonna show you step by step, we're gonna have to undo these bolts right here and then apparently we're gonna have to figure out how to take this off and there's a few things we need to do to get the whole grill off so we can access the horns and make this change a lot easier. So I am gonna finish taking off all of these right now and then I'll show you the next step after that. All right, so that was step one. Get off the rubber thing after taking all those clips off. After you took all those clips off, it just pulls right off. Looks like the next step is gonna be right here. One, two, three, and four we're gonna release these bolts so the grill can move a little more freely. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. This looks like it's probably some 10 millimeter or so. So I'm gonna snag that and we'll see if we can get them loose. All right, so now that we did step two, which was remove these bolts right here. Okay, one, two, three, and four. That has loosened the grill up a little bit, but there is still more bolts that we need to get access to to pop this out. So next thing we're gonna have to do right here is undo these two right here, they're seven millimeters, and then try to pop this part out so we can then access another thing that pops this whole section out. So bear with me, I'll try to get this on film, but that's what's next. Okay, perfect. So we got those two out. I'm gonna repeat the exact same thing on the other side, but I'm gonna pop this out here first. Hopefully you guys can see me do that as well. Okay, so a little change of plans. This might be a cheat sheet for me. Uh, it may or may not work for you, but since I have this aftermarket bumper on here, I have an easy access right here to the bolt to take the grill out. 
So instead of taking all the plastic pieces apart, what I'm gonna do is just take this bolt out on each side and I should be able to pull out the whole grill since I already removed those top bolts. So let me remove those real quick and I will let you know if it works because if that's the case, it almost might be easier to remove your bumper without messing with trim because taking your bumper off is a piece of cake. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's not gonna work because obviously I have to take this off. It's very clear after getting back under there, this is tucked in behind this. So I'm gonna have to find a way to take this off. Taking those two bolts out is not gonna do it. So I need to go find some sort of pry tool to be able to pry this out because that's the only way I'm gonna be able to get it. So change of plans, not because I'm lazy, more so because I break things very easy. But like I said, right here, you take these two bolts out, you're gonna do that on both sides, both these bolts. Right behind it, there's another clip, just like the ones that were in the engine bay. You're gonna pop that out. Then, this is all held on by pop rivets right here. So after you take them both sides, you're just gonna pop this whole piece off right here, okay? It'll come out. Those two bolts that I just removed that are up in here, right there, if you can see them or not, those bolts are the next thing you're gonna undo. But since I break things, okay, I can wiggle this away enough right here to get access to this bolt. That bolt's what's gonna free up my horn. Then I'm gonna have to figure out how to unplug it while it's dangling and pull it out of this area right here. So that way I don't have to take everything apart. Hence, saving time. I don't break anything. I don't have to go back to the dealership. So I'm gonna see if I can get that done. I'm gonna try to show you guys. It might be a little difficult, but I will uh, mount this on here so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. All right, so as you can see, I got that bolt out of here. So right now, all the horns being held on by is this little hook. So the next thing I'm gonna try to do is reach down in here, pull it off this mount right here, and then now I have to unplug it. I believe it's only in one spot, but it is going to prove difficult. All right, so if you do it the lazy way like I did, be prepared for this to be a pain in the ass, but we got it out. We squeezed it out of here. So now the next hard part is getting the new one back in there the same way just like this so we can then plug it in hopefully and then get it hung back up again this is the lazy way i'm just cramming my hands down in here pulling this away as much as i can to fit it in there so i'm going to get the new one and we'll see if we can make it work all right here we go this horn cost me from ford 61 dollars. it came with both but here's the box we're unboxing it right now oh, it comes all fancy wrapped get rid of that and let's see here if this is the exact same one just to make sure we're doing this right before putting a new one in okay there it is the new one versus the old one they look exactly the same sweet so here lies our next issue getting the new one down in there the way it's supposed to be so we can connect it the right way holy crap that new one me pretty easy in there so the next issue is to obviously plug this thing in so let's hope i can get us plugged in the right way okay you guys that was a lot easier than i thought that went in there super easy for whatever reason i believe i got it plugged in we're gonna find out obviously but i put it right back on the hanger Right here, all I need to do now is I'm gonna put the bolt in just to secure it, and I'm gonna test the horn to make sure that it worked. Again, this is the cheap cheater's way to do this, okay guys? This is not the official Ford way. This is super quick. This took me 10 minutes after I figured out how I could do that. So uh, let's get it all back together real fast and make sure it works. Okay, you guys, so I've got it all back together you know, just to hold it so it doesn't fall. But let me go test this horn to make sure we fix this. Holy crap, you guys, that worked. That saved me so much time, okay? Again, this is not the right way to do it, but I made it work. So I'm gonna get this all tightened back up, 
move the truck back outside and I'm gonna let the horn go so you guys can hear that I actually got it fixed. So that way that stupid Prius horn is gone. So while you're tightening everything up, make sure you put back every bolt that you took out, okay? Obviously super important to do so. Um, but make sure you don't misplace your tools because right now that's what I've done. And I'm looking for my eight millimeter that I used to do this. So make sure you don't lose your tools, but make sure you put every single bolt back. So we've got everything all back together, tidied up. Everything's looking good. Everything's feeling good again. This was not the official way to replace your horn, but if you want to save yourself a half hour of time and you're doing this yourself, see what you can do with squeezing in there just like I did, honestly. I break stuff all the time, so it's a lot easier for me to remove a bumper. Even if I didn't have this, I probably would just remove my factory bumper because it's like five bolts, let it hang down, take those ones out. Pull. I mean, it just saves so much time. And the last thing I want to do is break stuff. So let's put on this panic alarm and see how it sounds. You guys heard it right there. That horn is officially fixed and we have no more Prius bitch horn. That was today's video. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you're liking what you're seeing, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you really love what you're seeing, hit that bell notification so you get notified every time we post a video. But that was today's video, the cheater's way to install a new horn when your horn goes out. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.